Do all ideas deserve a fair hearing? Sure, but what about ideas who have had their fair hearing and have been widely discredited and rejected? With the recent punching of white supremacist Richard Spencer and protesters shutting down scheduled appearances by racist, misogynist, professional internet troll Milo Yiannopoulos, Eli Bosnick made this point on Twitter a few days ago. Refuting bad ideas with good ideas is important, but so is removing bad ideas from the discourse. And when we refuse to do that, when we continue to engage with people pushing arguments that have already been refuted, we treat their bad ideas as though they were legitimate. When we already know that they don't have merit. The balance fallacy is the only hope the likes of Spencer and Yiannopoulos have for continuing to earn a living disseminating their long ago discredited ideas. That's why they lean so hard on their warped, self-serving caricature of free speech, which in their interpretation includes not only the right to speak, but also the right to a microphone and an audience. So I think the most important distinction is really between um, people who just want to be left alone to enjoy their hobby, um, consumers and, and, and fans of an entertainment medium, and you know these broken middle-class white train wrecks who have decided that the world is broken and they're the only people who can fix it. Refuting bad ideas with good ideas is necessary, but that's just step one. Step two is leaving behind the bad ideas. And the people who continue to cling to them and demand our attention. Do they have the right to continue to speak in support of their bad ideas? Sure they do. Do they have the right to a platform to better enable them to disseminate those ideas? Absolutely not. The, my primary objection to authoritarian left is that it is profoundly anti-intellectual. Anti it is profoundly and determinately purposefully stupid. It does not permit discussion and debate of the most interesting and important things in human life. The most important philosophy, the most important politics, the most important stuff that, that, that defines us and that helps us to relate to the world around us. It will not have those discussions. That's what I hate about it. That's what I think it, it really robs ordinary people of. Let them speak. But let it be from atop an apple crate on a street corner, not on a stage at a university or in front of a radio microphone or a television camera. We've heard what they have to say. Now it's time to stop indulging them so the rest of us can move forward.